while visiting a Facebook group that I'm a member of, and that group is Karma Hub Community, K-A-R-M-A-H-U-B-B Community. I came across an image that is titled, How to Instantly Feel Better. It identifies eight different emotional states. Well, they simply don't feel good at all. And it identifies the antidote to neutralize each of those negative emotions. I'll share that information in this episode of Easy Stress Cures and Energy Healing for Well-Being. Hello, Steve Carter, your host for the Easy Stress Cure Show and the Energy Healing for Wellbeing Show. I do thank you for joining me. By way of brief introduction, I've worked with thousands of people over more than four decades using an array of holistic methods to help them let go of stress and achieve health, happiness, and professional goals to improve their lives. One of the Facebook groups that I'm a member of is called Karma Hub Community, K-A-R-M-A, Karma Hub, H-U-B-B, Community, a rather different spelling. That group was started by a local Baltimore realtor who is very much into holistic well-being. That gentleman's name is Lauren Duffy. Currently, there are 475 members in the group. If you are into holistic methods for well-being, to include meditation, emotional freedom techniques, energy healing, and an array of other methods, and you're active on Facebook, I recommend checking Lauren's group out. And while you're checking Facebook groups out, I encourage you to also have a look at my group, Energy Healing Network. Energy Healing Network. If you are into energy psychology and or energy medicine, meditation, hypnosis, and similar types of methods, you're going to find homes in both of these Facebook groups. As I mentioned, Lauren is the founder of the Karma Hub community. And while visiting that group, I noticed a very simple post that he shared titled, How to Instantly Feel Better. There are eight problem emotions, and they are angry or anger, burned out, overthinking, anxious or anxiety, stressed, sad, lazy, impatient. We do know that there are various ways of neutralizing all of these negative emotions, and the antidotes listed for each of these eight problem emotions are very simple, and they work. Let's have a look at each of these problem emotions and the antidote that can neutralize and get you back in balance. Number one, anger or angry. The antidote, sing. Sing. I challenge you to sing and then try to feel angry while you're singing. I believe you'll find that it simply can't be done. Next on our list, a sense of feeling burned out. Burned out. What is the antidote for feeling burned out? Movement, specifically walk. Arise from your chair, your couch, wherever you are, and go outside and take a walk. Next on our list, overthinking. It is so easy to get lost in the loop of our thoughts. Overthinking is a problem for all of us. What is the antidote? Write. Write. W-R-I-T-E. You could do this in a journal. You could do it just on a sheet of paper. You could do it on your computer screen. 
simply write about how you're feeling, what you perceive the problem to be. And as you're writing, what you'll find is that your active mind, your monkey mind, will stop the incessant noise and it will settle. Problems that you may have thought were unsolvable, well, those problems become far more understandable and even more important. The solutions to those problems will emerge through your writing. Next, anxiety or anxious anxiousness. We all feel anxious from time to time. What is the antidote? Breathe. One easy-to-do breath pattern that will calm you down is the 4-6 breath pattern. Breathe in for four seconds. Hold for about a second. And then slowly breathe out for a count of about six seconds. Four in, hold, and six seconds out. As you're breathing, really notice the breath. Feel the breath entering through your nasal passages. Feel the physicality of holding your breath for a second. And then feel the release from the diaphragm as you exhale. Preferably through pursed lips, slowly, slowly, for six seconds or perhaps even a bit longer. How about general stress? The antidote there, exercise. Scientific research is very clear here. Exercise is a tremendously effective way to neutralize stress, to help elevate your emotional state from a sense of depression, and it also just generally helps you feel better. Any sense of stress, your antidote can be exercise. How about feeling sad? We all get down, emotionally down, for a variety of reasons. Life may not be going exactly as we would like it to go. Perhaps we've experienced a loss in life. The antidote for sadness? Gratitude. Make a list of at least three to five things that you are so grateful for. And as you look at that list, feel the gratitude that just flows from each of those items. What are you thankful for? When you're feeling sad, do focus on what you are grateful for. Ah, laziness. We all get lazy from time to time. The effective antidote? Take a cold shower. Take a cold shower. It will invigorate your blood flow. It will get you moving, and it will get you back into whatever activities you need to engage in with a renewed sense of energy and purpose. And finally, impatience. When you're feeling impatient, rather than focus on what is not done or what remains to be done, change attention to reflect on the progress that you've made in relation to the project or situation that you formerly were feeling impatient about. When you change your thinking, you change your emotions. To recap, feeling angry, sing. Feeling burned out? Take a walk. Overthinking? Write. Feeling anxious? Breathe. Stress? Exercise. Feeling a sense of sadness? Focus on gratitude. Feeling lethargic? Feeling lazy? Turn on that cold shower and get energized. Feeling impatient? Reflect on your progress. There you have it, eight disempowering emotions and eight ways to change those disempowering emotions and move in a positive direction.
I'll be including this information in two of my shows, those being Easy Stress Cures and Energy Healing for Well-Being. I'll also have the Karma Hub Community Facebook group linked in the show notes, along with the Energy Healing Network Facebook group. If you're not yet following the Easy Stress Cure show and the Energy Healing for Well-Being show, I invite you to follow both shows where you get your podcasts, to listen to previous episodes and other shows all focused on emotional and physical well-being. Do visit us at StressReliefRadio.com, StressReliefRadio.com. To be in touch, email me at cartermethod at gmail.com. Until our next visit together, your host, Stephen Carter, wishing for you and your loved ones blessings in abundance.